My name is Ronnie Cummins. I'm a co-founder and director of the Organic Consumers Association, Regeneration International, and our Mexico affiliate, V Organica. I'm speaking to you today from the V Organica Ranch and Research Farm in the high desert drylands of San Miguel de Allende, Mexico, 170 miles northwest of Mexico City. In San Miguel de Allende, a group of innovative small farmers, livestock ranchers, and organic activists have developed a new agroforestry and livestock management system, which we call agave power. <clears throat> this system utilizes native agave plants up to 2,000 per hectare or 800 per acre of varying ages and nitrogen fixing mesquite and acacia trees, uh, ideally 400 per hectare or, you know, 150 per acre to green the desert without any irrigation whatsoever. Producing large amounts of highly nutritious but inexpensive fermented animal feed, 60 to 100 tons of silage per hectare per year as well as pulque, distilled agave, inulin, which is an important prebiotic nutritional supplement, and other organic value-added products. Our desert agroforestry system also sequesters large amounts of atmospheric carbon dioxide above ground and below ground. We sequester up to 140 tons of carbon dioxide per hectare or 56 tons per acre over a 10 year period. As well, we're regenerating soil fertility, biodiversity, and rainfall groundwater retention. Greening Mexico's dry lands, 60% of the nation's lands are classified as arid or semi-arid, promises to dramatically improve the economic livelihoods of small farmers and rural communities, reducing the pressures that bring about forced migration to the U.S. The municipality or county of San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato, as well as the Mexican federal government, have signed the International Climate Agreement 4 for 1000, Soils for Health and Climate. These are positive gestures. However, the challenge in Mexico and across the world is how do we actually fulfill these promises? How do we fix the climate, restore the environment, rehydrate parched soils, and eliminate rural poverty all at the same time? San Miguel has joined hundreds of other governments, regions, municipalities, and non-governmental organizations pledging to reduce and cancel out greenhouse gas emissions as soon as possible using not only reductions in fossil fuel emissions through energy conservation and conversion to renewable energy, but also utilizing the massive sequestration potential of native agave plants and companion nitrogen fixing trees to draw down and store large amounts of excess atmospheric carbon in soils, trees, and plants through the enhanced photosynthesis of regenerative farming and land use practices. The deployment of the agave mesquite agroforestry system on approximately 50,000 hectares or 125,000 acres over 10 years can enable the municipality of San Miguel de Allende to sequester and store enough atmospheric carbon to cancel out all of its projected greenhouse gas emissions to fulfill its pledge in the 4 for 1000 initiative to reach zero net greenhouse gas emissions by 2033. Mexico's net greenhouse gas emissions annually are approximately 650 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. <clears throat> Reaching net zero emissions at the county level here in San Miguel will require deploying the agave mesquite system on approximately 30% of San Miguel's land. These 50,000 hectares will eventually support more than 100 million agave plants, 
and 40 million mesquite and other nitrogen-fixing trees, along with pasture, grass, and cover crops. When these 50,000 hectares are completely restored, they will be able to provide nutritious and inexpensive silage or animal feed for literally millions of sheep, goats, cows, and other livestock, producing organically certified milk, cheese, and meat, as well as providing significant fermented silage for other livestock, including pigs and chickens. The agroforestry system will, will deliver other important ecosystem services, including increased soil fertility, biodiversity, rainfall retention, and reduced erosion. In the sub-watershed of the Tambula Picachos, where, where the Via Organica Ranch is located in the municipality of San Miguel, there are 39,022 hectares of land in various stages of degradation. 93.4% show signs of erosion, 53% with signs of soil compaction. And there's no real possibility of successfully growing food crops such as corn and beans without irrigation at the present time. The overwhelming majority of these 30,000 degraded hectares have been seriously overgrazed for decades. The potential for regenerative and organic carbon credit payments. The current fair trade carbon offset price proposed by the Hudson Carbon Project in the United States is at $100 US dollars per ton of sequestered carbon dioxide equivalent. This would make the primarily small impoverished farmers involved in the San Miguel de Allende Agave Mesquite Agroforestry Project eligible to perceive approximately 113,000 US dollars per hectare or 5,000 per acre in carbon offsets over a 10 year period. For 50,000 hectares, this would amount to 650 million US dollars over a 10 year period. This amount of money will be a game changer in terms of eliminating rural poverty and unemployment and reducing the economic pressures that drive forced migration to the US. Small farmers in Mexico are already growing agave plants to harvest the piñas or the hearts of the plants to make pulque or mezcal in approximately 1,000 of Mexico's 2,400 municipalities or counties. These 1,000 counties include many of the poorest communities in Mexico. Most agave producers are not yet harvesting the agave leaves and piñas 60 to 100 tons per year per hectare in order to make large quantities of nutritious and inexpensive fermented livestock silage. But as more and more communities learn about the San Miguel Agave Mesquite Project, they are anxious to join up and deploy this agroforestry system in their ajitos and their private lands. The overwhelming majority, 86% of Mexico's farmers have no wells for irrigation. And 90% of these farmers make little or no money from their subsistence agriculture practices, that is raising corn, beans, and squash, and livestock. Although the majority of rural smallholders are low income or are impoverished in Mexico, they do, however, typically own their own family or self-built houses and farm sheds or buildings as well as title or ownership to their own parcels of land, typically five hectares or 12 acres or less, as well as their livestock. And beyond their individual parcels, three million Mexican families are also joint owners of communal lands or ajitos, which constitutes 56% of total national agricultural lands in Mexico, 103 million hectares or 254 million acres. Ajitos, or these communal lands, arose out of the widespread land reform and land redistribution policies following the Mexican Revolution of 1910 to 1920. Large land holdings, or haciendas, were broken up 
and distributed to small farmers and rural organizations, ejidos. With the agave mesquite agroforestry system, several million dryland farmers in Mexico can restore their degraded ejido lands and revitalize rural communities across the nation. Several hundred million farmers in the world's semi-arid and arid lands, 40% of the world's terrain, can do the same. This is what we mean by agave power.